Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog here, and in today's three-minute boot camp for you CCNA, CSENT, and Network Plus candidates, we're going to talk about Zui, and I am not going to attempt to teach you French in three minutes, that's my next video, but in today's video we're going to talk about the OUI and some other important MAC address facts. In the meantime, before we hit that, I want to invite you to join me out on Twitter, YouTube, our blog, and on Facebook. We've got a lot of great stuff going on out there, and I want you to be part of it. Now, part of the challenge with MAC addressing, it's kind of like DHCP and some other things we'll work with, is that they work so seamlessly and so flawlessly that we don't really give a lot of thought to the process. You know, DHCP works so well, we don't go into work in the morning and say, man, I hope DHCP worked last night, you know, et cetera, and everybody got their addresses. But, of course, for our exams, we've got to be familiar with the process. We've got to know where the messages are going and so forth. Well, that challenge is there with MAC addresses as well. And that goes for our study as well as our real-world networking because in our study, you know, we're always working with IP addresses. We've got to learn the classes. We've got to learn how to subnet and we've got to learn how to summarize them. Well, with MAC addresses, we really don't do any of that, but for our CSENT and our CCNA and our Network Plus exams, we definitely have to be aware of some things that we don't give a lot of thought to, even during our studies and particularly on the job. So let's go ahead and set our clock for three minutes here. And in the words of the great philosopher Shelby Stenga, here we go! Let's go ahead and hit that and start off with these MAC addresses. The first thing we have to get used to with MAC addresses, Bulldogs, is that not only do we just have one other name for them beyond MAC addresses, we have at least three we need to be familiar with. MAC addresses are also called the burned-in address, the BIA, so named because they are physically burned into the card. We also call them the hardware address because it physically exists on the hardware, and we call it the physical address because it physically exists. Now, I'm going to show you where to find that on a Cisco router in just a moment as a little bit of a bonus here, but one thing I want to mention before we do that, you want to watch that physical address name because that tends to suggest, hey, it runs at the physical layer of the OSI model, and it does not. MAC addresses are said to run at the data link layer or layer 2. They're also called L2 addresses or layer 2 addresses. On a router I just brought up here, you can look at Ethernet 0 is up, and even though I haven't put an IP address on the card, and even though the line protocol is down right now, and we'll troubleshoot that in another video, you can see the MAC address right here of that particular interface. Notice the way it's expressed. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Four characters, period, four characters, period, four characters. Also notice it says BIA right after that for burned in address. That's because the MAC address is changeable on a Cisco interface. And if you choose to do that, the BIA, the original burned in address, will still appear there. Now this is the way MAC addresses can be expressed, typically in one of these three ways. We just saw this bottom way on the Cisco router. There is no right or wrong way to do it as long as you're using one of these three formats, but I do want you to be aware that these are the same address, just expressed three different ways. Now there is a right or wrong when it comes to the organizationally unique identifier, the WE or the OUI. It does exactly what it sounds like it does. It's a unique part of the MAC address that identifies a particular organization or vendor. The rest of the MAC address is assigned by the vendor itself and is what we call a device ID that the vendor has not previously used with that OUI. And it sounds to me like we better know which half of that address, and there's a big hint, uh, is the OUI and which half is not. And going back to these addresses, the best way and the way that I've always remembered it is that the first half of the MAC address is the OUI and the second half is the device ID. That's the best way to remember and if you see a MAC address expressed this way then it's still the first half of the address but that's really all there is to it. So we got to know what the OUI is, what it does and of course where to find it and you also saw how to see that address, the BIA, on a Cisco router. Yep, made it pop off just by a moment. So that is it for today's Mac, look at MAC addresses. There's a written version of this tutorial and a video practice exam on my website. You see the bit.ly address there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love to see you out there. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog.